everybody, it's Belle. I'm back playing Discourse with KQD, and we are on day... Day, oh day no. Day five. Five, yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, so we could remember what day it was. Well, I was also, you know, waiting for the reveal, and it looks like but we now. survived another night. Yay. We have a kitty. And, uh, yes, we have a kitty, and we're in a cave, and we, when we last left off, we had, uh, shared candy, a candy bar, with yes. Garrett. We had some, and Garrett had some. Yes. Nobody else did. Things are looking up for us who ate food. Barely. My stomach feels like it's going to implode. What you complaining, Teddy? This isn't exactly a picnic for any of us. We did everything we could with the food we had yesterday. I know, I know. Let up a little. I'm running on fumes here. Rita. Rita. It sounds like the storm has finally ended. Well, at least there's a bit of good news. Taswell seems happy enough. Maybe things are going to be okay. We're completely out of food. We're going to need to find more. Now that the storm's over, it's as good a time as any to go foraging. I'm not really feeling up to that. Not having eaten in four days is starting to catch up with me. You mean they hadn't eaten any of those pretzels? I don't think they ate any pretzels at all. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I have the strength to go out foraging right now. I'm not feeling well on account of lack of food. I don't think it'd be wise for me to venture out. I feel pretty weak. I'm just going to stay in the cave today, I think. I ate yesterday, so I've got enough strength to go out. Garrett, you're the only other person who ate yesterday. Why don't you come help? Guess I don't have much of a choice. Time to give back to the group. Okay then, let's head out. And now I have to do all the talking. We're gonna take our trusting hunting cat. Our trusty what? hunting cat. I, I voice the cat, at least. You do. I wanna know why no one has questioned that there was this cat in this cave and he has a collar. Shh. <laughs> Ow, the storm really messed everything up. <laughs> Thankfully, we left camp when we did, otherwise we'd be part of that mess. No kidding. Anyway, we should focus on trying to find some food, but I'm not sure which direction we should head in. Let's look around a bit and see if we can find any clues. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We can push the cat. Push. We need to find some sort of food before we head back inside. Let's look for clues or anything that could point us in the right direction. We gotta find the first paw print. That's the first clue. I found the first paw print. Yay! Hey Garrett, look over here. There are a whole bunch of seagulls over this way. There might be something edible along the coast that they're all attracted to. Oh well, you know, fish. There wouldn't be this many around if there was nothing to eat. I don't know, that storm might have destroyed anything useful left on the coast. Mm. Let's keep looking. You might be right about that. Let's keep thinking about it and looking around. Do, 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 do. Gotta find the second paw print. Hmm, looks like more plane wreckage. That's the second clue! <gasps> oh, what have you got there, Taswell? Wow. Wait, what's that logo? Is that a bus? But this is clearly scrap from the plane. <laughs> this mean our plane was built from repurposed bus parts? That's almost too weird to believe. After seeing that duct tape all over the wreckage, though, Disaster is going to have a lot of angry questions to deal with once I get a hold of them. If, if ever. If ever. <laughs> Gotta find the third pufflet. That's the last clue! Too. Is there another? Is there another pauper? Oh, there. It's a good thing we found this cave. We wouldn't have lasted through that storm. 
that... Oh, okay. Hmm, this area looks a little strange, doesn't it? What do you mean? It almost looks like someone purposefully cleared these trees. The wind wouldn't have snapped them this cleanly. Maybe we should follow the clearing and see where it leads. Yeah, seagulls uh, are clearing. Let's let's go this way. Okay. Yeah, let's go this way and investigate. Maybe it's a farm. <gasps> da ooh. Uh oh. Whoa, this is weird. It's completely man-made. Sorry it took us so long to get here. It's just difficult to move quickly with my injuries. Don't worry about it, Garrett. I think this discovery was worth the extra time. Even though this place is clearly abandoned, it's pretty crazy to see something man-made here. There should be loot inside. We should check it out. Do, 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 do. Mm. Wanna read the sign? Yes. Okay. What's this mean? Free Wi-Fi? <laughs> yes. Hopefully. Looks like some sort of military base. I wonder how long this has been here. Dun, dun, uh. dun. These chains won't budge. The whole gate is locked up tight. That's so good. What's the plan, Rita? Maybe there's another way in. We'll have to look around a bit more, I guess. There's like holes all over the fence. Yeah, I think you could like pretty much tear the fence down. Man, they sure loved their signs. I saw the sign. We could try climbing up this tree and over the fence. Good idea. Let's get in there. Let's do it! Yay! Boop. But oh. now we're trapped. Radioactive sign. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Dun, 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 dun. I certainly wasn't expecting to find a military base out here. Yeah, I don't know what I thought would happen, but this sure is a surprise. Imagine if Teddy found out. Oh, goodness. I'm really sad we haven't... Uh, <laughs> we didn't bring Teddy. No, we didn't take Teddy. It definitely seems deserted, though. Nobody's been around here for quite some time. You're right about that. So, we should have a good look around for supplies. Maybe. It won't let me... Go down there. to the right. So I guess there's nothing. Maybe down there in that <laughs> darkest dungeon. Hold on. We're looking at a truck. A purple truck. No way that's an official military vehicle. We're gonna look at you this. You don't know. Look at this house. Everything's all boarded up. I guess nobody's been around here for a while. Is that nice. a bullet hole? There's lots of bullet holes apparently. <laughs> there are bombs here? They look pretty hollow and harmless. Still, this place gives me the creeps. Alright. Radioactive. Hey, look! This is some kind of underground bunker. There might be supplies in there. We should check it out. Time to go into the darkest dungeon! Oh, god. We didn't bring any torches or food or shovels. It's really dark in here. That means the loot will be better, but our opponents will be stronger. That's true. <laughs> it must be a light switch or something. You think this place is hooked up to power? In games, there are always generators to turn on. Let's look for one. Good thinking. Let's feel around and see if we can find anything like that. Oh god. This is a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, you, there was something. Oh. oh! Oh! I caught it! Now we can take a look around. So now let's move everybody over here. Gross, just a bunch of empty cans of beans. Somebody was eating down here, but it was a long time ago. Wonder where they went. We're gonna find zombies. Alright, you wanna look at this? Yeah. I'm glad this thing still works. I wouldn't be, wanna be fumbling around down here in pitch darkness. Wow, this computer looks old. At least I think it's a computer. <laughs> if only there was internet down here, we'd be as good as saved. It's Metaton! <laughs> it's Metaton. <laughs> Hello, darling! <laughs> Doesn't even look like this thing can turn on anymore, though. Oh, wow, Rita, look over here! He did that on his own. Can we, can we look over here first? Yes. Looks like a bunch of destroyed radio equipment. 
Doesn't even look like all the pieces are here. Probably beyond repair. Of course it is. Of course. Nothing left in here. We don't have any milk for it anyway. Alright. We're looking over here. Is that food? Huh? A can of slam! There's only one package left. It's super high in calories, so everyone will be able to eat, though. That's great news! Why don't you grab it, then we can get out of here. Yay. Grab it? Grab it. You know, it's kind of late outside, and this bunker is quite good shelter. Maybe we should spend the night here and return to the cave in the morning. I was hoping you'd say something like that. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> I don't think I can move fast enough to get us back before the dead of night. Better to stay here for a bit. Okay. Let's catch a quick sleep here and leave first thing in the morning. No! No, we have to get the food back! Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, let's just go through day six. Day five was really short. Yeah, that was short. Let's do it. Alright. Good morning. Ready to get going? Yeah, let's get to it. I like how these people all wake up at the same exact time. Right? And they just do that same, like, slow curl up. Did you want to talk to them? Yeah, sure. You see stuff like this in games, but it's so different in real life. I don't feel like there are any mechanics that I can es can exploit in real life. Maybe you need to find the connection between the real world and your games. Well, games are a human construct. The world, not so much. What I'm saying is when you try to mix the two, you just find yourself in trouble. I don't know, we found loot. Yeah. Uh, is something going on? Is something going on? It sounds like you might have some experience with this. I'm really good at games and finding exploits, Rita. Yeah, Garrett, I believe you there. No, really good. Uh, what happened? So what happened? <laughs> oh my god, he just ah! like, he like jumped up. <laughs> I play this game, EVA Online, a space simulator. Aside from a guild, hundreds of thousands of other people all play together. Uh, so it's like another life? So you have like an alternate life in that game? Well, my guild is like my family. I have a job shipping cargo and I have to eat regularly. So yeah, you could say that. In the game, I found a way to make other people's credits into my credits. Oh no! What good are the credits? You convert in-game credits to real money. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, how much did you take? How much money did you take? About... 928,954,793 credits. Dollars, Garrett? About $100,000. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god! Okay, so you got caught and that's why you're on the plane? Yeah, I thought I was in trouble, but then I saw the folder that the guy in the suit had. Apparently he worked for the government. They wanted to know how I did it. Wow, that's insane. Well, I guess you're off the hook now. There's probably not much left of that government suit. Suddenly they hear Teddy, I was right! I was right! <laughs> I guess we're leaving. Mm -hmm. There's no more to do here. No, nothing else to do. Alright. Shut off that. Oh, I... Uh... You want me to shut the... Eh, I can't shut it I don't it think off. you can. Yeah. If it, were, if it were me, I would shut it off. Time to head back to the option. surface. Oh. oh! Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> she did it! Because, like, they could always come back there and, like, mm -hmm. keep that as a base. You should have multiple bases. I've learned this and don't starve together. <laughs> yeah, because then the giants will come and they'll wreck your base. <laughs> and then one of your friends will light one of the bases on fire on accident. I... They... Wait. Was that with you? I I think that is something that happens to everyone. Yeah, I think so. At least once. <laughs> no, all we've got to do is get out of here. Uh, how do you, Now that you mentioned it, how are we supposed to do that? We can't get onto the tree from this side of the fence. Crap. I knew this was too easy. Actually, wait. The fence over there looks weak. Maybe we can just break through it. I guess we're not getting out of here unless we're willing to take down part of this fence. Let's do it! Bulldoze it! 
I'll go see if I can break that part. Wait here, Tazwell. He's not going to listen if you keep calling him that. His name tag says Mr. Whiskers. He'll get used to it in time, I'm sure. Anyway, let's get this fence down. Don't hurt yourself, Garrett. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, did you hear that? Yeah, there was a click. I felt something pressed down under my foot. Don't move. Okay, I think this is serious. Don't move, Garrett. I don't want to explode. You're not going to explode. You're going to explode. Rita, the cat. Mr. Whiskers, stop. Mr. Whiskers, stop. Holy man, that was close. Make sure he doesn't come over here again, okay? Of course. Just hang on, Garrett. There must be something around here that can help. Maybe back in the bunker? There must be a way to deactivate these mines. I'll see what I can find. Let's go back. If we come back up and Taswell has, like, ran at him... <laughs> It's probably Metaton. Is he probably. The sold computer uh, might have had some information on it, but it looks completely dead. Uh, smudged papers, broken electronics, and empty soda bottles. I don't think I'll be disarming a landmine with any of this junk. <gasps> look! Look! Oh! Yay! These look like instructions. They're pretty unclear, though. Guess is all I have to go on. Better take a close look. Okay, so you. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can walk off if the green button. It. I mean, it. It looks like if you step on it, hit the orange button. Yeah, because the green button sets it. The yeah. orange button deactivates. Yeah, I think it's the orange button. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Climb back up. Garrett's gonna die. Oh, jeez. We're gonna get Garrett killed. The timed the timed events are scary because I know there's a little bit of lag. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rita, what should I do? Uh, what's the mine look like? What does the mine look like? Are there buttons or switches on it at all? There are two buttons on the side, one green and one orange. Looks like some sort of diagram. I wonder what it means. Press the orange button. Press the orange button. Are you sure about this, Rita? I've run into puzzles like this in game. Oh, shoot. <laughs> are you sure about this, Rita? He's so scared. His I've voice went up an octave. Like <laughs> they can be tricky. Yes. Press the orange one. I'm certain. Press the orange one. Well, okay. If you figured it out, here we go. The light turned off, so it looks like something happened. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> I'm afraid to hit the A button like this is a fake out. Yeah. It, it didn't explode. I'm alive. What a relief. No, how do we get out of here? Maybe we can set off the mines on purpose. We could blow a hole in the fence. Where did... Where did Mr. Whiskers go? I think he's hanging out by the, um... By the place. Okay. That's Very some, worried about the cat. That's some good thinking. Let's see here. Ah, there he is. I just have to find something I can push over onto the mines. Uh... uh a bomb. A bomb. <laughs> that would be the, the best. There are bombs here? The best idea. Uh, let's check the truck. There's like that flag thingy. Oh, oh, this thing. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, here's a hand. Yeah. This pe speaker tower should work. I'll give it a good shove and set off the mines. Hooray. Wow. 
Good thing they were the exact wow, space Wow, that was loud. Food Convenience. Go. It worked. Yeah, let's get this food back to camp. And everyone's dead. Alright, off we go. Yep. Alright, off we go. Do, 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 do. I hope... I hope Teddy's okay. <gasps> what the heck? Oh man, what happened here? Jolene and I got up in the night to look for you, but you were nowhere to be found. When I came back, the cave was full of poisonous gas. It must be some, some sort of volcanic gas. I feel like nowhere is safe. Wait, oh no. Is that what happened to Steve and Teddy? I'm afraid so. So sorry, Rita. We lost oh, no. two people. They didn't even have a chance. We're not even safe when we sleep. I can't help but think this is, that this is somehow my fault. There's nothing you could have done, honey. Now I have to do all the talking, except for George. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. Maybe if I could have been just a little stronger, they would still be alive. Garrett and I were able to find some food at an old military base. It was completely abandoned. There definitely hasn't been anyone there in a long time. This is a lot to take in, but we definitely can't stay here at the cave if it's like this. We should go back to our original camp to regroup- Why can't we go to the military base? And figure things out. Come on, we can eat this food on the walk back. I'm so sad! Oh, we lost two people lost... all at once. Fuck Steve, we lost Teddy! We lost Teddy! We still have Disky! We, we do, we have- the sun. The prodigal sun. <laughs> the prodigal sun returns. <laughs> we made it. I suppose it's lucky we got out of that cave, but I can't believe we lost Steve and Teddy. It's hardly any consolation, but at least Disky's still here. I think this island is trying to kill us. We're just doing a damn good job, too. Pretty quick here, Disky is going to be the only one alive. We need to try to come up with a way to get off this island. What do you suggest then, Rita? Maybe we just need to accept we might never get rescued. I refuse to believe that we're stuck here. We're going to find a way off of this island. Um, well... Think, Rita, think! Wait a second. What about... Uh... The... Offshore light. Okay. What about that light that we saw out in the water? We could make a raft or something and try to get out to it. We have no idea what that is. It could just be a shiny rock or something. Uh, maybe you're right. I really don't want to make a raft and get out there. <laughs> I maybe was thinking right. more like a signal. <laughs> Let me reconsider. What about... The far side of the island? What about the far side of the island? We've explored so little, we don't know what we'll find on the other side. Or there could just be more danger. Huh. Put good point. I want to see what they say about the mountain. Okay, good point. Let me reconsider. What about... What about climbing the mountain off in the distance? Maybe we can get a better vantage point from up there and signal for rescue. Climbing a mountain, wouldn't that be really dangerous? Valid point. Valid point. Let me reconsider. Okay. What about? Let's walk across the island. I really think we should try walking to the other side of the island. Okay, let's do it. I suppose there's not much else to be done. I suppose it's worth a shot. Okay then, let's get going. Wait, right now? Isn't it evening? Right now. Looking at all this desert could really get to you. Huh. Wait a second. Look up ahead. This part of the island looks much more lush. You're telling me. Reminds me of my visit to the Amazon. 
Stay close, everybody. We don't know what's out there. Let's keep moving. Garrett's lagging. Oh, no, he's not. Yay! Let's stop here for the night. Man, this island is starting to feel endless. It's like we're not getting anywhere. It all looks the same. Uh, I don't mean to drag the group down, but I'm not feeling too great. Maybe we just need a little rest. We can try again when we're not so beat. Oh, oh let's... I can pick something up. Oh. Sorry. Don't go to sleep. Uh, talk to Mustache. Think we're ready for tomorrow, George? The best way to be prepared for anything is a good not sleep and a positive attitude. I like George. He is great. I wish I could go through life like that. It just doesn't come that easily. It gets easier as you get older, Rita. Why are you leaving him, Jolene? He's awesome. Right? It seems like you become most prepared for life when you least need the experience. <sighs> You're exactly right, Rita. Just another one of those natural beauties of life. Whatever you want to call it. And then and he goes to sleeping. sleep. Oh, we should be able to talk to everybody, you would think. Okay. Hey, Garrett. This is like the third season of Dragon Orb X when San Goku fights Lord Icer. Oh my god. And what makes it like that, Garrett? San Goku is just a small team of his friends to help him out. And they help him win? Well, it's the fact that his friends are willing to lay down their lives for him that allows him to win. Uh, I don't think that's us, Garrett. <laughs> I don't think that any of us would do that, Garrett. Oh, well, I would. Aww. Thanks, Garrett. That's good to know. Let's get some sleep. Good night, Rita. Jolene. Hey there, Rita. Hey, Jolene. I've been wondering, what do you miss about home? Well, for our fifth anniversary, Georgie made a big ol made me a big old wooden rocking chair. Uh, that's so sweet. That's really sweet, Jolene. I'd give anything to sit out on the porch and watch the sunset in that chair right now. I bet. Now you got me thinking all sentimental. All right, good night, Jolene. Not Rita. I guess we're not gonna talk to the cat. Well, the cat would only say meow, so that's meow. fine. Alright. Okay, so we did day five and day six, since day five was super short. Yes. Uh, and we have lost our first two people. <laughs> we lost my favorite. We lost Teddy. We lost Teddy. Poor I regret everything. Poor Teddy. Maybe we should have given him chocolate. Should have given him chocolate and had him come with us. <laughs> Well, that's it for this time. We're heading we're heading to the other side of the island now. So, uh, we'll have to see who makes it to the other side of the island. And who Disky doesn't? Disky will. Disky. I don't think we brought Disky with us. Oh, We should have brought Disky. He's got to right, carry we, on his father's name. If we did, nobody's like carrying him visibly, so we'll see. But uh, thanks everybody for watching and tagging along as we try to survive on this island. Um, we're gonna have, you know, links to social media and um, both KQD's channel and my social media stuff in the description. So feel free to follow us and subscribe. And uh, we will see you next time for day seven. Bye. -bye. Day, day seven. Day seven. Day seven. Bye. Bye.